morning. It is Tuesday, April 5th, 2022. And I have the pleasure of reviewing two of... I got lemon in my eye. Um, two of the greatest albums ever. These are by Ween. I'm going to review Ween's first record because I love it. And then I'm going to review The Mollusk because I also love it. These are perfect 10 records. The God Ween Satan, it's like it establishes all of the Ween things. that It's like in the embryonic phase of all of the things that Ween will be, you can hear the imprint and the attitude in God Ween Satan in its purest, brownest form. Um, it's a beautiful thing to behold, honestly. Uh, it's like their punk rock album. Sort of. They were like actually snotty teenagers when they were playing this. Um, hopefully I can find that footage of them opening for Henry Rollins. But yeah, they would literally play in front of punks. Like music that was like telling them that their form of music was bullshit, basically. Like the opener of this You Fucked Up is like the greatest parody of the upshot of punk rock type songs. Uh, but it's just a good punk song. It's just a great, one of the great punk songs. Um, I love punk rock music, but there's a lot of, this album sounds more punk than anything they've recorded. Because it's just two young weirdos in Pennsylvania at this point. Nobody gives a shit, so it's just pure. Um, Tick is great. I love the Diener guitar melody on this. It's really catchy. And then it goes into that, like, I'll flush you, I'll bring you, okay, I can't do the down, down, round, round, round. Yeah, that's, it's good. It's a good poppy, it's like a pop punk song. A lot of these songs are like punk songs. I'm in the mood is not like a punk song. I'm in the mood is not like a song. It is two notes on the bass, and then it sounds like guitar sticks hitting together. And then it's just like, I'm in the mood to move to the left three feet, God damn it. I'm in the mood to fly in the air. 100 feet, motherfuck. It's just nonsense. Beautiful nonsense. This is like where you get the first brown. You're like, oh, this band is not gonna... They're not just gonna make songs. They're gonna do other stuff to me. Um, got some weasel. My weasel, little weasel, got a weasel, got a weasel. Pretty simple. It's mostly that riff over and over again. Although he comes up with a bridge for the riff that I appreciate. There's a pretty bridge in the middle of got some weasel. Little Peasel. Fat Lenny. Undeniable. Fat Lenny. Gonna walk right into myself. Fat Lenny's gonna see myself. Reflecting back on myself. Fat Lenny's gonna let the schlack off the window still. And I said, Fat Lenny's gonna rip my, lick my head off. Lick your face right off your head. After that, cold and wet. It's a guy like who's cold and wet. Just like this little riff. And then it's like a guy who's being cold and wet. And then Bumblebee sounds like a screaming, scared guy. I assume escaping a Bumblebee. This is like one of the first sonically, like, hurts your head songs on the record. Um, Never Squeal. It, oh, shit, no. After Bumblebees Don't Laugh, I Love You. I love this song. It's just like bubblegum pop. It sounds like... Just Brit pop from like the 60s, like the yummy, 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 I got love and they tell me. Uh, it's amazing. And it has perhaps the greatest bridge in any song, which is Ernest Hemingway will always be there for you, but Ernest Hemingway is dead now. And if you locked me in the sun to the tinkle, I would run, don't laugh. Beautiful. Never squeal on the pusher. Don't lie to your mama, just do what you wanna. It'll be okay. So good. Just Diener giving you game over this like jazzy bass line. And then it's just this awesome riff that So good. Love this song. After that, up on the hill. Now we're getting into gospel spiritual ween. Won't you wody wody? Up on the hill. Anyway, they do it, they do the verse about the Boognish rising and the, uh, 
Then they do it fast rock out, like up on the hill, down by the river, whatever. It's a great song. Um, I love this song. It's, yeah. Lordy, Lord, I come to take you home. When I was younger, my mama told me, she said, Gina, I want to smell it. And then she smelled it, and it was smelly. She said, Lordy, Lordy, Lord, I'm coming home. Yeah. Just modern gospel, really. Um, Wayne's Pet Youngin. Doom -de -doom, -de -doom -de -doom. This has a cool, like, motorhead, like, fast punk riff. Nicole is the first longer brown, like, noise experiment place. It sounds like it's just going to be this nice little, like, funk love song at first. And there's some sweet, some sweet little riffs in there. But then it just turns into playing, like, it just falls apart, turns into noise. Noise concrete. Noise concrete. It's very sophisticated music, Wayne. Um, yeah, Nicole is insane. No other band puts that song on a record. Common Bitch is great. Um, it's another one that's like a punk song. Um, just like fast chugging riff. El Camino is great. Has the, uh, the, what's it called? Spanish guitar riff stuff. It's good. Old Queen Cole is like a short kind of bluesy rocker. It's not one of my favorites. Nan is one of my favorites. This is one of the most beautiful love songs ever written. I don't give a fuck about you or Danny. Keep walking with Danny. She overpopulated. Ah. Uh, What's your big secret? Could you give me a clue? Aw, oh, silly, silly girl. Anyway, Nan, there's, that's, this is like, oh, this is why this band is special. Licking the Palm for Guava, more crazy psychedelic noise explosion assault on your ear that's going to continue with Mushroom Festival in Hell. And Mushroom Festival in Hell is like, legitimately like a dark metal song. Uh, and then you, you will get your relief in the form of the dirtiest, the dirtiest of funk, that like 70s Prince funk, it's like literally referencing or like playing with the lyrics of the Prince with Shockadelica, but yeah, gonna make you beg, gonna make you spread your leg, gonna want it, gonna get it, and you never regret it. Let me lick your pussy. Wonderful. Pop Zit is next. We're back into the loud, short, fast, chugging riff. Again, this is their punk album. That's how I view this. It's like, they're, there's little, like, pieces of, like, other stuff, but they're still at that rudimentary punk rock level of sophistication musically, which I find just as compelling as when they have really well-produced thematic records like White Pepper and Quebec and Mollusk, which I'll review after this. Um, but yeah, Old Man Thunder is like 20 seconds of like Gene or Diener pretending to be Bruce Springsteen or something, like singing some silly folk. And then Old Man Thunder, after Old Man Thunder's Birthday Boy. Birthday Boy is an amazing song. It's such a great song. Um, I love this, just like emotionally, melodically, lyrically. This song is one of the best Wayne songs. Um, yeah, it's a it's it's a perfect song. Um, Blackjack is not a perfect song. It's more of like weird brownness, but this is the first weird brownness that you're hearing ever. They're, this is the first record, so it's like, yeah, similar to Nicole. It's like, not what I put on first for somebody, but once you get what it is, it's amazing in context. 
Squelch the Weasel is like almost like them doing like a prog, like self-serious type song. And then Marble Tulip, Juicy Tree. Actually, that's the best song in this record. Uh, Nan. It's either Nan or Marble Tulip, Juicy Tree. Because the Marble Tulip, Juicy Tree riff is just so fun. I just love this song. Please play it more live. I still haven't seen it. Um, and then Puffy Cloud. My brain is dead from too much pot because Gina and I smoke too much pot. Yeah, I like that song. Wonder why. Marble Tulip Juicy Tree, though, that I don't know who you are, don't know who you, just that like, do, 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 do. I, I just find this a joyous progression. And I love when it goes in the chorus, I love the lyrics. When you see Hacky's mind screw, don't come running to me, because Wink will scream and set a flame. Yeah. They're weird, guys. Ween is a weird band. Next is the Mollusk. This is like the first well-produced, like fucking ornate sounding, like polished sounding, not lo-fi at all. No resemblance of that anymore. This is the first record that sounds clean. The first clean ween was referred to as the, the pink rather than the brown. Mollusk. There is brownness on the mollusk. They did include pink eye on my leg. Um, but it's mostly the clean ween. But it's so good. It's like it's like a fucking play. It's like an Irish seafarer telling you like his voyages on the sea. It's like Moby Dick, but like making fun of. But, uh, like, authentically executing these, like, old sea shanty things and incorporating that into... It's like a story. This is like a concept album. Um, I'm Dancing in the Show Tonight I'm, is amazing. I love this song. Uh, they actually found this song in an old songbook and then they rewrote it a bit. Um, so that's why you'll see, like, whatever like, kids in a theater, like, performing a version of, like, you're like, why are you singing a ween song? It's like, because they didn't really write it. They took it out of a songbook, and then they rearranged it, and I love Giner's, like, nasally manipulated voice on this that makes him sound like a little kid. I love the piano. Just the do-do-do-do-do. Just sounds like an old... It reminds me of being a kid. Um, the Mollusk is next. Amazing song. I love this. It's got that like proggy darkness and the lyrics are like this mysterious like telling the story of like this magical animal that lives in the sea and like this little boy meeting this man and he's telling him about the power of the mollusk. It's great. It's just that hypnotic and then the peak of it. So good. I love I assume Claude doing the keyboard solo over it. It goes into like a euphoric, blissful peak after the verses. It's a great song. Polka Dot Tail is a great song. Uh, more of that weird underwater kind of theme of this record. Um, in that like, old children's song, like, sea shanty traditional song. This sounds like they're writing one of those. Um, I'll Be Your Johnny on the Spot. This is where it gets rocking, and not about whales and mollusks and all the uh, magical things in the sea. This is just a rock, and my daddy died, left me all his God, I'll Be Your Johnny on the Spot. So good. I love the way that the guitar of Diener sounds, like super compressed in this, and the chugging synth of that, like, doo -doo 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 it's like, this is like, oh, this is like what you were doing with the drum machines, but now you have a studio. Now you have like good synthesizers, cool drum machine. But yeah, the Diener fucking I don't know if it's talk box. There is some talk box on Godwin Satan that I neglected to mention. 
Um, but it's just that super compressed envelope filter. So good. After that, Mutilated Lips, one of their best songs. I lick my brain in silence, just like trippy, crazy nonsense, and then this earworm, beautiful chorus, mutilated lips, give a kiss on the wrist of the worm-like tips of tentacles expanding in my mind, I'm finding something only fresh rind, you can get another drop of this, yeah, you wish, mutilated lips, yeah, it's, it's hypnotic and beautiful, um, and also sounds like that underwater, proggy, vibe of this record. Um, Blarney Stone is next. This is amazing. Um, I grew up listening to Irish music that my mom would play, like Clancy Brothers, shit like that. And this is hilarious. This is like what all these songs sound like to me. But it's just funnier. It's just like, yeah. If I don't get some fresh bread soon, I'm gonna punch you in your face and bark at the moon. Sharpen your boot and bludgeon your eye. It's great. This is just like them writing a great Irish traditional folk song, except it's Ween, so it's fucking weird and crazy. It's gonna be alright. This is such a reassuring song. I know the title of it is It's Gonna Be Alright, but when you hear this, you're just like... It's like, so, so just like delicate and pretty, and like, no hint of that, like, the brown or the menacing, it's just... Just beautiful, straightforward love song. The mist ever lets the sun through. I just hope it did the right thing for me and you. Yeah. Beautiful song. Like Sarah on Pure Guava, like uh, on the last record I did, like Don't Laugh, I Love You. They, they can just put in like a beautiful love song, you know? She fucks me. One of the most beautiful love songs. Um... After that is Golden Eel. Golden Eel has the crazy, sounds like the old ween, like, percussion stuff underneath. And then just the raging guitar solo. And then just Giner in this prog bag that he is in Golden Eel, Buckingham Green, Mollusk. Just beautiful, like, it's creating this, like, character world where it's, like, this seafaring, romantic, old, kind of folky. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how exactly you genreify the concept album, The Mollusk. Um, after The Golden Ale, which has a fantastic Diener solo, you have Cold Blows the Wind, which is like a very sad, soft kind of almost country-ish, um, folk, like, kind of lament ballad, um, about, like, death and loss and stuff. It's like a sad song, but it feels of a piece with this record, um, because they're playing with those traditionals, starting with the first song, which, which is literally traditional. And then it's, the rest of it feels like, well, they're writing original traditionals, some of them. Um, Waving My Dick in the Wind, just a great song. You should have seen old Jimmy Wilson dance. So good. It's just a great guitar riff, great fun. Sounds like a pop punk song. Um, yeah, it's an amazing song. Pink Eye on My Leg is a weird brown instrumental to just be like, yeah, we're still weird, we still do noise. Um, Buckingham Green, one of the great prog songs, period. This is an amazing song. Child Without an Eye. It's just like, like the grandiosity of it. It's so beautiful. Then Ocean Man. Ocean Man's a delight. It's a fun pop song. I know it sounds like Spongebob. It literally is in Spongebob. It should be in Spongebob. Just that whole, this whole record is Spongebob. It's the mollusk, baby. She wanted to leave. I love this song. Three men's ah, they were three men out to sea. Even more than the fucking Blarney Stone. This is like, oh shit, this is this is what my mom's listening to. Now I'm one of them. Kind of fatalistic. 
Anyway, that's 20 minutes. Hare Krishna. Uh, buy my fragrances.